morning and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, my name is Joyce and I do uh, content around personal development and personal growth to really just help you take that next step um, into your journey. For those of you who keep coming back, a very warm welcome and also the newbies, of course, a warm welcome. But thank you for coming back and today I'm going to talk about kindness. We live in a world where, particularly in the West, that kindness is underrated because they think that if you are kind, then you definitely don't know how to do your job or that you're not bullshit enough, you're not bold enough, you're not strong enough, you need to be hard, you don't need to smile, you just need to let people know who's boss. But you can be a boss with still being kind. Uh, at least that's what I think is the um is the real essence because you can't change who you are but that doesn't mean that you should not climb the ladder wherever you are and still use your kindness as a superpower i'm going to use the example of the sun as um as i drive this point home now we know that the earth revolves around the sun which is why we see different glimpses of the sun in different areas of the world but that aside let me just drive this home by talking about the different parts of the world that experience the sun to explain the kindness in our analogy. Now, we know in the desert, for example, it's scorching hot. The sun can take you out, literally. Very few plants survive there. Very few animals survive there. Human beings, you know, different ball game. Very rarely make it, but those that do are conditioned to be able to live there. But again, it's very sparse. It is incredibly hot. And if you're not prepared for it, you will not survive. We've heard people who've tried to trek there. They've not really made it. So that's in the desert. Same sun can take you out in no time. Now let's go to where I live in London, where <laughs> if we're really lucky, we get the sun in, in the summer. And this summer, really, we didn't get much sun. Of course, we get sun in the spring as well, um, and also in the autumn, but it's very metered, and it's also very cold when it comes through. So we know that it's, that it's there, it's metered, it shines, and it's very scarce. Let's go to the Nordic uh, countries, where, honestly, they don't see the sun for maybe six months six months without light and when the light does come doesn't necessarily mean that the sun shows up but it's there and it's metered again but it's the same sun let's go to nairobi where beautiful sun when it comes in there is a breeze with it it's almost guaranteed and it's always on time same sun now let's translate that to yourself. You don't have to change your character, but some situations may call for you to scotch some people, to met some people, to disappear on some people for six months. And for some people, you literally just flourish both for yourself and them. And that is my point. Don't change the nature of who you are because society is telling you to or your family is telling you to or your job requires you to be who you are develop the skills that you need to to work in conjunction with your nature because that's the only way to really thrive same son scotch if you need to and don't be apologetic about it mind your business go ahead with it take good care